You know, we have inherited a lot of new people over the past year or so. And I mean, I can't blame people that maybe live in New York City in an 800 square foot apartment. They've got kids to homeschool and then they're working from home. But I met a couple recently from California and I asked this gentleman and his wife, I said, how do you all like living in the South? Or they live right outside of Aiken, South Carolina. He said, you know, we love it, except for one thing. We can't understand the way y'all talk. It's kind of crazy. I said, yeah, it is a little bit. He said, let me tell you, I went to the water authority to open an account. And this real sweet lady, she was behind this plastic, you know, separator thing. And she looked at me and she kept saying, all right, now you need to go over yonder. And he looked at her and he said, what? She said, uh, go over yonder. And he finally said, uh, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't understand what over yonder means. She said, well, let me just explain something to you and share a little Southern. Over yonder means any place where you ain't. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. But you know, we do have lots of Southern terminology. I've got some friends, uh, Bubba Bechtel, Jeff Foxworthy, they love to say, Widgie, you, did you? You brought your mama with you, did you? And jeet, J-E-E-T, it's a whole sentence in the South. Did you eat jeet? Then you say jew, jeet, jew. When my mom and daddy were building their house, they had a, a gentleman who was a carpenter and he really talked funny. And he kept asking mama, did she want her ironing board the same way in the same place that a friend of hers had in her home. And he kept saying, excuse me, do you want urine like heron? Urine like heron. <laughs> so if you have a funny little Southern story or some verbiage that maybe tripped you up, if you heard something funny, do send it to me in an email. Jane Jenkins, herlong at gmail.com. I'll put it right down here. So, and also y'all check out my YouTube channel. I've got some fun videos. So anyway, welcome to the South. Let me teach you how to speak some Southern. So that's all for now.